Hello friends, we're here at Fort Ward in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, there's not much left of the old fort. Uh, some parts of it have been reproduced like this Sally Port. Uh, this is one of the big defenses of Washington that surrounded Washington DC and this is on the south side in Alexandria. Uh, there are a few reproduced structures around like this is an officer's hut. Nice little summer cottage like place. Uh, here's a uh, condemned uh, field gun carriage. People come here to walk and exercise a lot. Now here's the museum building itself that we're going to get a good look at inside. Here you go, show you the hours of the place. Walking in the uh, museum building here. Well, here we are inside the museum. It's a, it's a really uh, a small museum, but they've got really high quality exhibits. They're well interpreted from what I, I mean, you'll see that here. Here's something very unusual. It's a child zouave uniform with a CDV photograph of a child in that type of uniform. Okay, so let's go up and take a look. There's a photograph of the child in a Zouab uniform, Civil War period. And the caption. And here's the real child's Zouab uniform. Sorry about the reflections on the display case. Uh, there's no way to open it and get inside. But there are the pantaloons, leggings, the fez, uh, the blouse. And uh, here's the original photograph that they blew up for our convenience. Now here's the layout of Fort Ward as it was. This is a little, I guess, what they call a diorama. Uh, Three-dimensional model. And there's a nice bunch of interpretation around here with the 1864 plan. The 1861 plan, the uh, ceremonial entrance gate, which we saw outside, had been reproduced. And an explanation of the model. There's uh, Commander James Harmon Ward, who uh, the fort is named after. He's actually a naval officer. And a little bit of rundown on him. Now there's an actual quarters which I think we saw reproduced outside, an officer's quarters. And there's a 100 pounder Parrot rifle uh, in position that was at the southwest bastion here. Uh, wartime photograph. Soldier barracks of Fort Ward. You see there are a bunch of them. It's a busy place. Uh, here's the reconstruction. 1961 to 63. It had kind of fallen into disrepair. And here's what an aerial view of the uh, Northwest Bastion after it's completed the restoration 1964. Uh, the gate again. Here's uh, showing the archaeological survey. Interior view of the Northwest Bastion when it's under construction and museum and officer's hut which we saw outside and then back uh, look at the diorama again here real quick here's a case full of really nice artifacts we've got a light cavalry saber model 1860 we've got a u.s cavalry shell jacket oh these reflections are terrible And we get some small arms. We get a carbine sling, a Colt revolver model 1860, a uh, padded 1859 McClellan saddle girth, and a Sharps carbine, new model 1859, caliber 52. There you go. A McClellan saddle.
and there are some boots worn by probably a cavalryman. We're going to continue on around here. 10 inch mortar shell. Uh, shell tongs for handling it into the mortar and out of if need be. Artillery haversack where the shells and powder charges were carried up to the gun. And artillery gimlet. Yeah. A gunner's pouch or tube pouch they call it. Leather. Again, terrible reflections here, but what can you do? And there's a 15 inch shell for a Rodman gun. There's a shell. Big thing. I wouldn't want to have to pick it up. See, there's a fuse hole and then one of the tong holes. The tong holes are on the side on these. Big tongs used with them. A nice display of uh, the defenses of Washington. We've got a very unusual artifact here. This is an actual rocket launcher from the Civil War period. It's a hail rocket launcher. And uh, as far as I know, this is an authentic one. text on it if you want to read up. Two and a half inch caliber, so it fired a six pound rocket. Now here's a locally famous guy, or nationally famous anyway, Colonel Elmer Ellsworth, who became a martyr early on in the war due to an altercation with a resident in Alexandria, which I think was fatal to both. If I remember correctly, here's a famous uh, picture of the incident, the house it occurred in. And this is actually his kepi. And it's been restored, but that's supposedly, I guess, the one he was wearing the day he was killed. And here's a sign on that. And we got a uh, section of the Marshall House flag. Marshall House is where Ellsworth was killed. A little bit of description on that. Case uh, with uh, various ephemera memorializing Ellsworth. A lot of nice items here. This is a poem. And then here are various uh, pieces of letterhead stationery dedicated to Ellsworth and a mourning pin. Very nice enamel and gold pin. You never get it focused, there you go. There's a Marshall House token. Those are Ellsworth commemorative envelopes, it says. Here's the O from the Marshall House sign. Marshall House in Alexander where Ellsworth was killed. <coughs> 